Welcome to our YouTube presentation on data analysis and statistical methods in clinical trials. In this video, we will provide you with an overview of the statistical analysis methods used in clinical trials and discuss how to interpret their results. So, let's dive in. Introduction. Clinical trials are crucial for evaluating the safety and effectiveness of medical interventions. Statistical analysis is essential in these trials to make sense of the data and draw reliable conclusions. It helps us understand whether the observed differences between treatment groups are statistically significant and clinically meaningful. Before we delve into the statistical analysis methods, let's highlight their importance in clinical trials. Statistical analysis allows researchers to determine the efficacy and safety of interventions, assess the impact of variables, and make informed decisions based on evidence. Now let's explore some of the common statistical analysis methods used in clinical trials. The first method is descriptive statistics. This approach involves describing and summarizing the characteristics of the study population and the collected data. Measures such as mean, median, standard deviation, and proportions are used to provide a snapshot of the data. Next, we have inferential statistics. This method helps determine the likelihood of observed differences between treatment groups occurring by chance. Hypothesis testing, confidence intervals, and p-values are commonly used in inferential statistics. Regression analysis is another important statistical method. It assesses relationships between dependent and independent variables. Linear regression, logistic regression, and Cox proportional hazards models are commonly employed to analyze data in clinical trials. Survival analysis is particularly useful when studying time-to-event data, such as survival or recurrence rates. Kaplan-Meier estimation and Cox proportional hazards models are common statistical techniques used in survival analysis. Now that we understand the statistical analysis methods, let's move on to the interpretation of their results. When interpreting statistical results in clinical trials, it's important to consider several key factors. The first consideration is statistical significance. A p-value below a predetermined threshold, usually 0.05, indicates statistical significance. However, it's essential to remember that statistical significance doesn't automatically imply clinical importance. Effect sizes are another critical aspect of interpretation. They measure the magnitude of the treatment effect or association between variables. It's important to evaluate effect sizes in the context of clinical relevance. Confidence intervals provide a range of plausible values for the treatment effect. Narrower confidence intervals indicate greater precision, whereas wider intervals suggest more uncertainty. It's important to acknowledge that statistical analysis also comes with challenges and limitations. These may include missing data, confounding factors, and potential biases, such as publication bias. In conclusion, statistical analysis is fundamental in clinical trials for reliable interpretation of data. Understanding the methods used and how to interpret their results is crucial for making informed decisions based on evidence. Thank you for joining us in this presentation on data analysis and statistical methods in clinical trials. We hope this overview has provided you with valuable insights into the statistical analysis methods used and their interpretation. Remember, statistical analysis is a powerful tool in understanding the effectiveness and safety of medical interventions. Stay curious and keep exploring the world of data analysis. See you next time.